Hi everyone. So, a lot of my videos, all of my videos have been relatively positive in nature. Get the excitement of getting new trees, repotting, going out to nurseries, acquire, acquiring new stock. But it isn't always fun and rainbows. And I thought it'd be fair to show a video of something that is, you know, a problem. I'm sure we all encounter. And this is my problem. So this is, I believe, Red Escalonia. And I've had it for a year now. And it's constantly struggled you may be able to see on the camera, if not, I'll bring you in in a second. A lot of these yellow leaves clearly has some sort of problem. And, you know, a lot of these will actually just fall away if you pass your fingers over them. So, I did take some action. I used this product here rose clear ultra gun <laughs> um systemic fungicide and insecticide which has it helped I'm not quite sure and i did repot it into better soil because i wasn't sure if or where the problem was stemming from. So, what we've got now is a lot of healthy looking new growth. On this side anyway. This side on the right, we've still got a bit of a struggle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the camera in and just show you what the leaves look like and then talk you through what my plan of action is, my next plan of action. So I think this shot gives you bird's eye view of you know, what the problem currently looks like, these yellowing of the leaves, there's you know, black spots all over them. And also, hopefully, the healthy new growth that is starting to appear. So I think there's hope for this. However, on the secondary trunk, things look a bit more concerning. The new growth has dark blotches on there. It looks decaying not healthy at all. So, what is my plan? My plan is today to remove any and all leaves that show any sign of decay from the whole of the tree. This side It looks like that it will be a complete defoliation. Everything is going to be removed because there are signs of disease on every single leaf, which is worrying. What I will then do, give it a thorough dose with the fungicide. And then, so this is in sort of semi-quarantine at the top of the garden out of the way of everything else and then it will be left alone and what I'm hoping is when the sun finally hits a growth spurt will flush this out with new growth healthy growth and you know in 12 months time when spring comes back around this problem will be completely resolved so 
I think one thing that's important to throw out there is there's, there's very rarely any concise help available when it comes to what you should do with a tree that's not very well. I'll see it on, online. You know, somebody will post a photo and you'll have several people offering a different strategy, different diagnosis, and it can be very confusing. So if you're watching this and, and disagree with what I'm doing, <laughs> you're probably right. So, from this side, that's everything. And even here, look, hopefully you can see there's some new leaves growing, but they've got damage. So, that's everything gone from this side. On this side, as I say, it's a bit healthier when you get towards the top. Some sort of insect has been chomping its way through the leaves. But, hey-ho, more than welcome to. So what I'm going to do is just work through taking off anything that shows the slightest sign of disease. And this is, I think, one of the frustrating aspects of the hobby that we're all involved in, because you just want your, your plants and your trees to, to grow well, healthily, vigorously, And then something like this happens and puts a spanner in the works. In fact, I'm positive that this was actually in, a, in this sort of state when I purchased it. I got it from a local garden centre, which, I'll be honest, they never seem to have the best cared for trees and shrubs and, and you know this was on sale for a couple of pounds and I thought why not in hindsight I wouldn't do the same again I know some people take great satisfaction out of helping sick plants become healthy and fresh And I'm sure with the right knowledge, probably some of you may be watching this and going, yeah, I know what that is, and I know what to do. And it would be relatively straightforward. And, but I don't have that knowledge. I'm definitely not a plant rescuer. So even here where the growth looks good, when you look closely, I know you can't see on camera, a lot of the new leaves have got sort of black blotches, dark blotches. You know, these are just brushing off, these yellow ones. So one thought that came to mind was, should I, should I, I mean that one there, you're not going to see it on camera, but there's a big dark blotch, it almost looks like an oil stain. And it's not until you get closely 
that you really can see it. Sorry, one of the thoughts I had was should I should I use tweezers for this? Maybe if I was you know dealing with a a tree that was a bit more well developed I might consider that because I'm being quite rough little spider you can go over there I'm being quite rough but you know it's not a well developed tree in fact being totally honest I was looking at this the other day thinking I'm going to put it straight in the compost bin so this is the sort of last hurrah of trying to get this healthy if it doesn't work I mean if it doesn't work I'll find I'm sure online there's somebody will take it off my hands for free people love free trees free plants And as I say, it only cost me a couple of pounds, so I've not lost anything other than time and the will to live. But they're easy to come by. <laughs> well, time isn't. So, I'm going to stop the video here and show you how little is left of the foliage. Once I've gone through this. Okay. There we have it. Every single leaf that had any sign of disease has now been removed. I say, as I'm still seeing more. I mean, I'm 95% of the way there. You can see it's pretty stark. This side, totally bare. Uh, this side, very bare too. Seagull's finding this amusing. One encouraging sign is this looks like it backwards incredibly easily, you can see here. So it may be, this isn't the last hurrah. And if this doesn't work, and the problems continue, then I might just cut it right back to a literal stick in a pot and see what happens. So one thing left to do, and that's give it a, give it a dose of this fungicide. Uh, let's have a look at the instructions. When to use April to the end of September, spray at first sign of disease, probably a bit late for that and intervals of 14 days. When, the infection, when plants are infected with black spot the previous season, spraying should start in spring as buds burst. Hmm. Where to use? been shown to be safe to many species and varieties of plants are always, always advisable to test a sample of plants by treating them and leaving them for a few weeks. Fantastic. Keep apply away from bees and open flowers. Okay. So giving it a good old turn the nozzle to the on position, wouldn't it? It was in one position. 
Yeah. So I'm going to give it a good old drench. Now I know a lot of people will or do frown upon the use of fungicides. I'm not one of them. Not yet, anyway. Maybe as my knowledge grows, I might change my opinion. So, give the soil a good old dose. That is absolutely drenched. Spray upwards to make sure we get it underneath the leaves. And we're good to go. Okay, so this is going to go again back in its little quarantine, quarantine, quarantine area at the top of the garden. I'll do an update in a month or two. Hopefully, things improve and can begin to do something with it. We'll see. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope you're well and better than this red Escalonia. Cheers.